Now at six, a former NBA All-Star is shot in Compton. Witnesses say Brandon Roy dove on top of his niece to protect her when bullets started flying. Good evening, I'm Rick Garcia. And I'm Pat Harvey. And CBS 2's Dave Lopez is live at Sheriff's Headquarters in Compton with more. Dave? Well, Compton uh, detectives behind me are just feverishly trying to figure out why. Why did this happen at all? We have four men who were shot, none of them life-threatening, including the former NBA star, as you mentioned. And as it turns out, his quick actions undoubtedly saved the life of his niece. He took two bullets for her. Here's Roy. According to some members of his family, of all the accomplishments Brandon Roy has had on the basketball court, NBA Rookie of the Year in 2007, three-time NBA All-Star, nothing can compare to what he did on this Compton street Saturday night. Get the kids in the house, take the kids in the house, you know, that kind of stuff, because they were all concerned with the children. They were all out here all day playing. Janet, no last name given, was the only neighbor who wanted to talk about what she heard on Saturday night. Roy flew in from Seattle, where he lives, to visit his grandmother and his numerous nieces and nephews. They had a barbecue. They set up a basketball hoop in the middle of the street. The crowd, adults and children, numbered about 20, I was told. According to the family, Around 8.30, a car parked at the end of the block, and two men got out, walked up, and without saying a word, opened fire into the crowd. And when the shots rang out, according to two family members and two neighbors, Roy, who was standing right next to his six-year-old niece, grabbed her, put her in a bear hug right about where I'm standing, wrapped his arms around her, and threw her to the ground right here, and laid on top of her. He took two bullets, one in the upper thigh, in the back of his leg, one in the lower thigh. And according to the girl's grandma, after the shooting was over, she said to her, Grandma, my uncle, who's a big guy, got on top of me and he wouldn't get off. On Twitter, high praise for what he did. Brandon Roy is an absolute hero, isn't he, Red One? Another, I'm definitely a new fan of Brandon Roy. But from Roy himself, who flew back to his home in Seattle on Sunday, and from his family in Compton, complete silence. Here's Brandon Roy. His NBA career ended after six seasons, knee injuries. He then went into high school coaching and last year in Seattle at Nathan Hale High School won the state championship with a record of 29-0. Off camera, his grandma told me he's a very quiet, humble young man. Off camera, his uncle said he saved a life. Again, no comment at all from uh, Brandon Roy, who was back home in Seattle recovering from his two gunshot wounds. As for those two suspects, detectives say this is all they have. Two men out of a car, walk in complete silence, open fire, and walk away in complete silence. Why? That's the big question. Back to you in the studio.